I had a lot of questions regarding how I mount solar panels using Unistrut on my previous install or current install. So today's video, um, I want to show you how you can mount solar panels using Unistrut or Superstrut you can buy at Lowe's, Menards, Home Depot or any hardware store. So this is how we gonna, I'm going to show you the configuration. I hope you like this. I hope it makes sense. I hope it's going to help somebody who wants to do this on a very low budget instead of buying the uh, commercial grade. They're so expensive. Stay tuned. And this is just the assembly. I'll show you how everything goes step by step. Subscribe, like, and share. All right, folks, these are the parts um, you need for this one hole operation, how to install your solar panels. I'll bring you closely and see these are Unistruts. You see the package here as uh, a Unistrut is made by at Cori, a Cori and it's a three, eight top grip nuts. They are five, the quantity inside the pack. So you guys can see they are here. For demonstration purposes, I have to bring this for you and I can show you. And I'm using X-Bolt. It depends what whatever you want to use. Um, grade 5. And uh, some of them. Stainless stainless steel. You know, you can use aluminum with... Uh, with um, you can mix a lot of metal with aluminum. So uh, stainless steel tend to work pretty good with, um, with the uh, aluminum. So here... He has a big washer, white washer. You can see it says Unistruts there. And the part number is 1063. So this is a long one. This is a short one. It depends what you want to use. Um, one and a half inch. Is a 3 8 by 1. So, and here, here are the super struts. You have the Unistruts and the super struts. These are the bigger ones. These are the super struts. So they have like a track, like a uh, trail, a rail track they can glide into. Um, I will show you as we go the process. I just want you to understand that. And these ones, I'm going to be attaching the back of the panels. And uh, the bolts here is going to come through one of these guys here. And because of this groove you guys have seen here, this is where the, uh, these, um, the top grip nut is sliding into. These are 3 8 It slides. It has a, a plastic here that um, holds, sits right on top of this channel right here. So I'll show you, make a quick, quick demonstration here. Make sure they go this way. It slides all. See how it rides? And this one will never come up. You know, it can't even get it out. So it slides easily on the track. There are other um, lug screws here, lag screws galvanized. So these are ones if you want to use like drilling into your roof. It depends what you want to use into your roof. You can use any kind of um, uh, nuts or screws, whatever you want to use. No nuts, um, bolts and whatever, or how you call them. You can get into it and drill all the way in your roof. And this is the one that's going to be anch anchor into this here you can take one of them and center right there and use a washer a white washer to hold this uh, rail down on the on your um on your roof okay so these are all the other stuff that we're going to be using here and um, i'll show you quick and what we already configured here all right youtube this is how everything is set up here you can see this ones um, it's already fixed. I took one of them and uh, put them to one of the uh, original holes there and uh, just having like one of these it's already it screwed this one all the way down here and that's what I did. I put one on the panel one of the holes right there and this one is upside down. So I'm going to show you how it's going to slide on the track and all the way. So, but mind you uh, guys, uh, these are just 80 waters uh, solar panels here. I want to demonstrate for you guys to see. I have a lot of questions. People been asking. I uh, hope this video is not going to be too long, but uh, I want to make a complete sense to people. Some people are kind of skeptical about how um, 
you can use a, a unistrut or super struts on 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 um, solar panels inst or installing solar panels on a roof. It's very easy. It's not hard. It's cheaper, not too expensive compared to the commercial grade. If you have the money, you can spend it. This is for people that doesn't have the money and they want to utilize it to go about the thing so they can be part of the family of the solar. I hope I can make sense and I hope this video helps some people and stay tuned. All right, folks, I'm going to be showing you I'm, what I'm going to do, sliding the panel on the rails, just like a train track. So it's kind of, it's not hard. It's easy because these tracks are going to be on the roof already. You already have them on your roof. So we're just going to slide the panels. They're going to slide easily. There we are. There's four panels coming in and uh, it's going to slide from this side oh, okay. all right so now we're gonna slide the panels we already have them all uh, parallel to the tracks and we're just gonna slide these see how easy it is so make sure the last side of it is gonna hook up to the other track here and see the other side is there, voila. So there we are, one panel in. So we're gonna do the same thing again on the next module. So the second panel's in, see how they glide, right? Really nice and smooth. As long as you get the rail really tightened up or lay them straight how they're supposed to be. That's how you mount solar panels on a on a unit strut and the easiest way so here comes the question now people has uh, always worried how do i protect or safeguard these panels from coming out or how they're going to hold on to the to the tracks or to the rails so a simple thing to fix this thing just like other people normally use the meat clamps here when you buy um the professional ones you have a mid clamp and the mid clamps get right in the middle here which um, the panel is going to be uh, an angle like this you have a like a bolt like this coming up so they have something similar to this that sits right there and and anchor and hold the two panels down like this so you see I think the unit strut is really better because you have them on a rail, on a track, so they would never fall. Even this thing goes, you know, it will never fall vertical or horizontally, nothing. Because they hold on to the tracks right here. As you guys seen, this, uh, this device right here, which is the, uh, the top grip nut, it has, it has, uh, um, grips right here it slides into so the mid clamps are just so, something like this um, object and uh, it's gonna hold the panels down into the uni rack or whatever you call them is holding them to the rack but the unit struts is way 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 simpler and better because there's nothing nothing I, I don't have to use the mid clamp at all if I want to I can use this washer I can use this washer, uh, this main device right here, or I can use this device right here, like a big washer, and hold this panel down, okay? And, or else, I can able to use, I can go this way, or I can use another uh, uh, metal like this and hold the panel down by having the bolts come all the way up if I have a longer bolt. So you can use that as well to hold on the panel, which is the traditional, how everybody knows or they think it's safer to protect or secure your panels uh, in case of wind or, or snow or hail or anything but this way is the best way okay i choose to do this because i think it's safer it's safer it looks beautiful because there's no gap in between so it's not going to be any salt or whatever the moisture sorry the moisture from the the, the weather and um, 
it's just like snow started building in between here if you use like the 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 mid clamps so and you have the end clamps here i'm going to be showing you the end clamps uh, on a professional version which i'm going to be which i improvise using my stuff right here which is this guy he sits right there and hold this panel for moving it's not going anywhere by using this other device underneath it okay so um the end clamp and mid clamp so i don't need a mid clamp because you're going to be having a gap like this which um snow probably is going to be building up in between this uh uh device that is going to cause uh more um uh snow built up you're going to have a bank getting higher and in covering part of this panel and shadowing that's the word shadowing this part of the panel which i don't want to I don't want that to happen and I can have all these panels by doing that you saving spaces like this if you have a, <clears throat> a big string of panels you can go this space you keep on having having two inches two inches two inches two inch you can end up having another panel to sit in there if like for example there's uh, six panels you can able to put seven panels on one string so let me show you before this video get too long how you gonna do the termination on this instead of having a mid clamp and just using end clamp my end clamp is gonna be this stay tuned so all you do now you see I have a 14 wrench right here if you guys can see it's a 14 so okay then I can use this one and just tighten up these bad boys right here and make sure you get them all the way the way you want them and lock the stuff. Tighten up. There you go. And come back here and do the same thing. Tighten up this one as well. Sorry. All right, folks, uh, we've done it again. This is a clear representation how it looks like on the roof. And uh, this is how it looks like. And the panels are all going to be um, already configured. And you see, instead of having a mid clamp right here, we have an end clamps that holds the entire device. I'm going to be showing you now how I'm going to lift up this rack. Uh, straight or vertical you see this rack doesn't go anywhere okay stay tuned all right folks you see that that's a complete rack right now it's not going anywhere it's all fastened up no wind no nothing nothing is happening because the end clamps right down there is already fixed and you guys can see all you gotta do grounding the solar panels all the way from each module one way to the other on the sides and everything so this is the completion how you uh set up uh, solar panels using um unistrut or super struts on your roof the easiest and simplest way and cheapest way right here thank you for watching I hope this one makes sense now. I hope you guys can understand this. And the panels are not going anywhere. You can see they all fasten up. They're not going anywhere. They're all tight. So nothing, nothing. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video. And I hope I'll um, answer your questions. And a lot of people be wondering, a lot of people be asking questions. So finally, I decided to make um, a video today and show you guys how uh, you mount solar panels using um, unistrut or super strut the easiest way and the cheapest way thanks for watching subscribe like and share bye for now